how are you? I have my coffee here. This is Sandra Hart. So nice of you to joining me this morning. Today is kind of what I call an Oscar Peterson kind of day. I don't know whether you know of Oscar Peterson's music, but he plays this great jazz and you know, kind of mellow kind of music. Well, this is the kind of a day it is today. We were going to go to Joe's and take the dogs, but uh, we would need our umbrellas today. So it looks like it might be clearing up now though. So I hope so. But it's the kind of day where you just want to curl up and watch a movie or read a good book and uh, listen to some great music. Did it ever occur to you if you like music, think about the different cycles of music, how back in the 40s it was smooth and mellow and kind of jazzy, but it was uh, happy, relaxing, not nerve-wracking music. And then, you know, in the 50s it was bebop because everybody was happy, we were singing and and everything was kind of good, the economy was good, everything was you know, going along just fine. And then as everything progressed, the music got different during uh, the Vietnam, Vietnam War. The music became more folky, you know, talking about issues that involved all of us. Instead of, you know, always talking about love and things like that, they were talking about, you know, moral issues and issues that affect social issues that affect all of us and then it morphed into this rock and hard rock was which was a mixture of blues and folk and a little bit of um, jazz it, it just all mixed together and became rock and then we had hard rock that was head banging and people were, you know, cutting themselves and, and just kind of going crazy. And now I think the music is 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 a product of our times. I mean, it's, uh, you know, rapping about death and killing and, and disrespecting women and all this stuff is going on and it, it's the music seems to always mirror the times that we live in. And it's on days like this when, I, you know, when I'm, I want to have peace, I want to have quiet. I want to go back to the 50s. I want to go back to maybe the 70s and, and, and the 40s where it was calm and peaceful and just, it was a nicer life, I think. I know it's, it's, it's hard to even think that or to say that, but, but it's really true. That's, that's the way I feel. I feel that our music has always been a mirror of our times, and the music that I hear today is not much to my liking. Really is not the music that, you know, I didn't even watch the Grammys this year. I, I didn't because it's just, um, just my, not my thing. Maybe I'm getting old. I don't know. I remember when the Beatles came, everybody said, oh, you know, the Beatles, you know, but we were in the generation. I loved the Beatles. Um, and when Elvis Presley was gyrating his hips, he said, oh my gosh, you know, what's the world coming to? But now <laughs> all of that music just seems like, like very, very timid and it's just nothing today compared to what is out there. But I hope maybe the pendulum would swing back the other way and we really start getting people like Mike, Michael Buble and, uh, and people that start really singing the great classics again and, and composing, I think, I mean, I might be prejudiced, but my son has really nice music. You know, he's, he's doing an Americana album now, but his music is, is about love and, and about you know, some things that are happening in, in everybody's life, but I just am so tired of this stuff that is just hate music. Basically, that's what it is. It's division and hate music, and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, so. I got that off my chest this morning. I don't know how many people were, you turned me off, maybe you did, but, but I just, I wanna go back to a quieter time 
quieter time, a more civil time, and and I want to just listen to really good music, music that makes my heart beat and makes me my mind sing. I do, I really do. I miss the good old days, so I guess I'm really sounding like an old person for sure. And do you know what? Every single time I start doing my mornings with me, before I start, it's so quiet. I think, oh, this is a great time to to do my my to do the video. And as soon as I start, the garbage trust must know me. As soon as I start, all of a sudden they come out of the woodwork and start going uh, through the alleys. You know, as I said before, in South Beach, all of our houses, we have alleys in between because that's where, you know, the garbage and the construction people can come and go. And in the front, of course, of our houses is the ocean. So it's very nice, you know, on the other side of my uh, a house, you know, I can sit and I can watch the ocean and it's very, very nice. But uh, when I'm here in the other side of the house, which is where we usually, you know, sit out here and have breakfast, um, it can be noisy if we don't beat the garbage truck schedule. Have a good day. Please uh, do something wonderful today for yourself. You deserve it. Every single good thing that's going to happen to you in your life, you really, really deserve it. Be good to yourself. Do something nice for somebody today and share the love. I'll see you soon. Take care, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by. I love having coffee with you at least once a week. Take care. So long.